Hey, welcome to a very special edition of Upper Michigan Today. We are live as Hiawatha Music Festival gets underway here at Tourist Park in Marquette. Tia, it is a beautiful Friday morning. It really is. I don't think there could be a better day for a Hiawatha setup. I mean, the festivities really kick off later, but this park is already filled with campers, tents, um, and just people already. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah, I was driving around uh, to get here to the main stage that we're in front of and uh, you know, people are outside drinking their coffee. I heard some um, folks playing the guitar yeah. and it's just that vibe already mm -hmm. underway and immediately you just, <sighs> you just right. kind of relax into it, right? Like it's just a, a special place. You can feel right. it. Right, like Hiawatha is here, time to unwind for the weekend, listen, listen to some traditional music, eat some of the food. I noticed a lot of vendors already yeah. set up. I see kids playing at the park already. So it's really just a, a family fun event for the whole weekend. And of course, we're going to talk all about it with executive director over here, Terry Bachland. Terry, last year when we spoke to you, it was your very first yeah. time organizing, setting up for Hiawatha. Now this is your official year doing this alone as executive director. How are you feeling? How are things going? It's going, it's going beautifully. Do you want me to hold that? Oh no, I'll hold Okay, it. okay, <laughs> all right. It's going beautifully. There have been a few times where, you know, my head felt like it was gonna explode, <laughs> but um, that comes with the territory and it's it's equally exciting, you know, to to be dealing with a problem as it is to be, you know, involved in something that's uh, making music happen in an amazing way for our for our community. And you know, it's a question that I'll probably ask every year, but this really is such a special festival with uh, so much background into the area. Yeah. Uh, just talk about what it means to the performers, the people that are here, the attendees, and to those volunteering today. Well, interestingly, um, our performers love coming up here. They love our audience because uh, we're enthusiastic, we're listeners, we're not, you know, doing something else while we're here. We are. We're invested in listening and taking this music in and witnessing the amazing human craft that's happening on the stage. Um, the, the vibe is just so fun. And we have Michael Cleveland with us for the third time. And he's widely regarded as the greatest blue bluegrass fiddler who ever lived, Ooh. greatest of all time. And he's here for the third time because he just loves coming up here. That's so special. It's got to feel so good as the organizer to have people say that about your festival. Absolutely. And it's wholesome, family fun, and just can't beat it. Yeah, yeah. What does it take to throw an event <laughs> of this magnitude, and especially an event of this tradition? Because coming back for 43 years, people have some expectations. Well, they do. And I see my friend Lee... <laughs> Maybe somebody could round up Mr. Ossenheimer for me. Maybe, Maybe he's running away <laughs> he's intentionally. Running away. That also happens from time to time. It takes a lot. We yeah. have we have 37 different volunteer teams um, who know what they're doing for each area. So there's somebody in charge of getting our concessioners. Mm -hmm. There are people in charge of getting our porta potties. There are people in charge of putting this stage up. And they know their job. They know their task. And miraculously from my position as executive director, it, it all happens off stage, you know? Mm -hmm. it all hap It's all happening behind the scenes. And uh, I wanted to welcome my friend, uh, Lee. Maybe Lee, we'll she's pulling you into live television. <laughs> give a wave, give a <laughs> wave. Uh, she's just talking about all the hard work that you put in. Come on over to us. Um, so I know you're busy, you but- to put you on the spot Yeah, anything, but, but what does this put weekend you mean to you? What does this weekend mean to me? Family. Family and music. Family so, and music. Yep, we are a very family-oriented festival. Uh, and uh, if you were to look at our mission statement and you were to look at all of the uh, various uh, accommodations that we provide for uh, folks to come into the park and enjoy music, you would see that family and music are a highlight to our festival. And, and his, his phone is going off because and, he's so and, busy and this morning. Lee, yeah. is, Lee is in charge of our setup team. So anything that gets brought in to this park to set up for 4,000 or so people is Lee's job. And he has a dedicated team of volunteers. So every sign you see, every bike rack, every picnic table, every dance floor, <laughs> he's in charge of all of that stuff that comes in to make it um, more than just tourist park, big job and he works hard. 
And thank you. Thank you for all that mm -hmm. you do because so many people get to come and enjoy and get away and escape and just be together this weekend. So thank you for everything. Absolutely. Uh, how many years have you been doing it? Uh, I've been involved with Hiawatha and some role of leadership for probably 15 years. Um, as far as my current position, uh, three. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And that's something that we've noticed. People come back year after year to continue helping and yeah. continue making this possible. Yeah. We only have three paid employees in the whole organization, and none of us are full-time, except I'm kind of full-time right now. But, um, yeah, it really runs on volunteer power, and people do it for the love of it. Yep. All right, well, we're going to talk more about the music, the lineup, what you all can expect this weekend. We're also going to take a look at some merch. I don't know if you noticed our yeah, t-shirts. festival fashion. That's right. Thing. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll get into more.